Okay, here I am. Uh, I got the message for uh, uh, install an update. So I'll put the uh, live demo on. And now you can see Ecamm Live 4 is, ver is here. If I go to uh, my Ecamm Live, and show you that it's uh, the 3.10.8 and um, so it's worked very good for me but it looks like they've got some pretty good updates so it's at 4.02 and um, what was happening was that uh, let's see Facebook page that it fixes, uh, go live, um, animated overlays, not auto playing, um, issue with comment overlay, several other fixes, 4.01, Facebook integration, so I could multi-stream to Facebook. So I've been kind of staying away from this version because uh, if everything works, do I need it? And uh, I'll just put this right here. So anyway, this is the uh, um, webcam 1080. I forgot to turn on the uh, Canon. So I do that real quick. I'm going to turn that on. Hopefully that will work. So I put it in different colors. I notice I'm real tan. All right. Uh, I guess that's the way the, uh, the picture is and stuff. So let's see. If I go right here. Yeah, I'm on the webcam. So let's go pick the R10. And... Since I didn't have that on before turning on the um, see FaceTime cam link. Ah, come on. It's not doing it. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll go back to FaceTime. All right. I am going to uh, install the update. So in the video here, because once you install it, it stops all recording and stuff like that. But this is just an intro of what I'm going to do. And then we'll see what happens if anything crashes or whatever. So anyhow, uh, it says the Canon R10 16 millimeter. It's not. It's the webcam. It's this one right here. Okay. So, anyhow, uh, I'll be back in. Well, I'll be back if it works. If not, then you'll see what happens. Okay. Before I uh, switch to uh, Ecamm 3 to Ecamm 4, you know, updated the version. Um, it's running good um, on the computer. Uh, the problem is I changed the color aspect from fine detail to neutral. And my cam link won't come up. So what I'm going to have to do is I can do two things. So first of all, I, I like messing around with stuff. I was going to add, I was going to show a tutorial on adding a camera with the uh, bad cam link, all right, and I was going to have it like a second camera over the top, so that way you get three cameras. You get the webcam, I can look at the R10, or I can have a back side view, which I enjoyed with the ZFC, but uh this kind of dampens my plans, so I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to add 
to see if he'll take the neutral. If not, then I'll show you with this live broadcast of how to uh, hopefully fix to get the camera working. And I may have to change the color profile again. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to live demo mode. And this is a great tutorial. So I'm in live demo mode. It says update audio system. So in, in recording install system audio. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, hope it updated my audio. Let's see if, uh, yep. I'm in live demo mode. So, I go here to webcam, and I'm going to add a camera, okay? I tried the R10, but as you can see, it doesn't work. If I click on here, it's just a blank screen. And then the uh, cam link... If I go back here, it's not on. Okay, it's not lighting up. You'll see a little light right there, but it's dark. So, what I'm going to do is uh, this right here. So, I go down, add the plus to the camera. It's a new scene, and we'll see if it works. So I go up to here to the menu, camera, I want to go to Camlink 4K, and it's still not working. So, go back here, just put in the trash can since it's done working. I'm at the Canon R10, I'm ready. So, what I'm going to do is, with my other camera, I'm going to turn it on. Hit record. And I am going to take you through the process of this SD card to see if I can get this uh, camera to work. So this is troubleshooting. So you can still hear me on the uh, MacBook Air. And uh, I'm starting to record on the ZFC. And what I'll do is I have to unplug the HDMI uh, cable. And then uh, reset the uh, camera, which you'll see from the ZFC. And then we'll see if it works. So I'm going to the R10. Taking out the cable. And it says uh, set choose mode. Okay, manual. All right, so I hit menu. Go into picture style and go to find detail. Leave it at that. Turn it around. And what I'm going to do is plug in the um, cable again. And I, don't, I still don't see a cam link light. Okay, just an update. I'm going to skip a lot of part of the video. Um, I fixed the uh, thing. It was a bad cable. But I'm going to skip it up, and because uh, uh, you don't need to see me kind of going into it. But uh, I tried different menu settings, I tried the different camera speeds and stuff, and then I came to the conclusion that uh, maybe it was the cable. So anyhow, here we go. This works. Why can't the other one work? So... Um, Anyway, I'm going to unplug this to the power and see if that does anything. Here we go. I'm going to unplug the uh, USB part. 
to the cam link. I'm going to plug it into another portal. I see the light. It's blinking a little bit. And it turned off. So something is going on. And it might be the cam link. I don't know. Bummer. So. I'm going to unplug the cam link. So this is the second one. Okay. And it could be software and stuff. But I'm going to open up the box. Which the one that I was having trouble with. And see if that does anything. It's just to show you, um, you can try different setups. So I have another cam link, but this one was giving me trouble. Okay. So you hook up. I already have the cable, HDMI cable. I just plug it in. And then I have the USB extension cable. So I plug this one into the cam link. I see the light come on. It blinks and it goes away. So it looks like a failure on that too. The only other thing is I like using this 4K monitor. I'm going to disable that to see if the uh, cam link comes on. So if I disable the 4K monitor, now I just have power to the laptop. It could be a power thing. I don't know. So I have that in. Unhook the cam link. So this only came on, flashed a little bit, and then was off. If I go to the R10 camera, cam link 4K, nothing. So, I know this is a bad one, but you, you have to try something. And for tutorials, if you want to have a camera hooked up to a laptop and all of a sudden it doesn't work. Uh, so, I'm putting the original cam link on. And it went gone too. So, I see no picture. I go to FaceTime. Or the webcam. Yeah, you see? Isn't that something? Now it doesn't work. So, the only other thing to do is I can unplug this. Put in the um, power plug instead of the adapter. Okay. So I'm going to put in a power plug. Make sure the laptop is working. It's on. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get an adapter for a USB-C to click into the Thunderbolt port. I'll be right back. Okay, here's another thing uh, that I'm thinking, and I've been recording on the ZFC all this time. So, I got a converter, USB-C to USB-3, okay, made by Apple, made in China. So, I'm going to hook up this cable to the USB-3. And then plug it into the laptop and see if that works. I'm trying to get there. Okay. So, turn it on. I see it blinking and it turned off. So, the other thing I can suggest is now I'm going to put this uh, camera back in 1080p. And uh, see how it works then. So I'm recording this on the ZFC. I'll collage all the pictures together. That way I can kill the dead space so you don't have to wait. And 
All I'm doing is just troubleshooting. So I come in right here, come right back, and I'm going to unplug the cable. I'm going to go to uh, menu. Here. I'm going to, uh, instead of 4K24, I'm going to go uh, 4K or high definition 1080p. Okay. See, they got, uh, now I'm going to put it in also in uh, HDR mode. So I'm going to put in PQ. And I'm going to put in an optimizer. Okay, I have a manual mode, that's why. And the only one I got is D. Okay, so it's there. And I'm at 125, so I'm going to go back to um, the speed because it may be uh, set to uh, uh, 24. So it's at 25, 20 now. Let's try 60 first, okay? That's where it's supposed to be. Because the shutter speed may be too fast. I'm going to turn it around so you can see I have a picture. See, the, the R10 is working, all right? But the way you deal with this, I'm back here now to see if it works. So I unplug the uh, cam link. Plug it back in, it's blinking, and it's going silent. So the other thing I could try are different cables. So it might be a cable that went bad, or it might be the HDMI out. And that's what you have to worry about, failures. It failed on my ZV-10, and it did the same thing. But then it could have been kind of like a bad cam link. So let's find out. So, I got another adapter. And it could be a cable problem. I don't know. Let's find out. So, I'm going back to here. I'm recording this on the ZFC. So, I'll plug this. Get this off. This one goes like this. Okay, so it's a different cable. It's in there. And guess what, folks? It was a cable problem. Now, I'm at 1080p. And if you notice, I'm kind of dark right now. See, I scroll up like this. I can move the screen a little bit. I just have to go like that. Okay. And then the webcam. And then the R10. Okay. And then I can brighten it up. I can uh, bring up the gamma a little bit. And saturation, I can increase it just a little bit. Tint looks all right, because that's cooler, redder, that's green. i uh, just leave it at zero. And then the temperature, 
reset, I can go cooler. I'll leave it at zero too. Okay, this is 1080p. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess around. So I'm going to go at uh, 4K30 again, see if it uh, handle it. So I'm going back here. Turn the cable. And now I have to unhook the cable in order to read the menu. That's the only thing about uh, uh, you can't see it. You have to look at the, uh, the camera. But I'm going to take it off. HDR. Disable. Okay. And I'm going to go back to uh, 4K24. IPB light. Gives me the less... Uh, well, I could go just uh, 4K24. Say okay. I should be in high definition. Or I mean, um, let's see, HDMI looks good. Yeah, fine detail. Now I'm going to go to neutral, see if this works. So, set okay. Menu. I'm at 4K30, 1 60th of a shutter speed. Let's see if this works. Turn it on, and it's working. 4K, high definition, 30. Interesting. That one's working. So if I go like this, now, what you can't see, and I'm still in live demo mode, okay? Uh, what I can do is, uh, hmm, well, I'm recording on here, but I don't think you can see the menu. Yeah, you can't, but it's looking good. I'm going to set the shutter speed to 125. Um, they, they say it's slower the shutter speed. The ISO, let's see, yeah, viewfinder and active. Okay, that's good. I'm at f2.8, 160 of the shutter speed. Uh, compensation exposure is zero. So, uh, let's see. And I'm going to move this up so I can be in focus. I'm in the box. I can move it a little bit more. And yeah, so I'm in the box. Basically, I'm there. Um, I'm in uh, number three. So I look a little bit clearer. I can click this up, expand. So this is 4K24. And if I uh, scroll on window preferences, go to st stream. So it says I'm, you know, I'm using a high quality mode. It's 4K, 24. If I unclick it, then I can uh, broadcast at 4.3 gigabytes. But on my Intel Mac Mini, it was okay. So if I went to use high graphic video mode, it's 12.3, and it said you need kind of like uh, 15. So it says, uh, Speed test result was 
destination is 12.3, but it's not good enough. But I'm not going to stream. I'm just going to record. So do I look better? If I hit reset to neutral, am I a little bit too dark? So it is in neutral, I think. I don't think it's in fine detail. Let's find out. Okay, yep, I'm in neutral. So I can correct that. Go to fine detail, hit that. Okay. Well, I look better. Yeah, I like the skin tone too. I may be, hmm, oh well. <sighs> Let's give a little brightness. Okay, and then uh, saturation. Yeah, down a little bit. Gamma. See, I look kind of dark, don't I? That's five. That's five now. Tent looks okay. Temperature. I don't know. Yeah. That looks a little bit better. Well, might be too yellow. Do brightness. I'm going to put that on 5 too. And let's bring down the. See if I bring it to zero. Okay. I look kind of like a, a Madigan, a doll figure. Yeah, but you never can tell. So the next thing I'm going to do is plug in the hub again. And that looks good. One one twenty fifth of shutter speed. I got it on both. Put in the power. You know what? That's not the power. I'm going to plug this. Then I'll plug in the power for the hub. Let's see if it does anything. Okay. That's working. I can hear it going. Now, I'm going to plug in the... Um, See, where was it? Oh, yeah. The monitor. So, I'm going to take this out. And let me save the settings. I'm going to take out the uh, camera. I'm going to go to webcam. Unplug this. Plug it into the USB. And it's working. You know what that means? I can bring my 4K monitor back. And let's see if it works. There it is. So, what did I tell you? I was going to teach you on how to fix... Let's say, uh, oh, there we go. So, the cam link didn't fail. It was the cable. Okay. 
and they go bad sometimes, or sometimes it gets too loose or whatever, they go bad. That's the only problem about hooking up and unhooking. This time, uh, what I hate about the uh, R10, or even on the R7, you gotta, in order to look at the menu system, unless you're looking at the monitor like you are now, um, you have to read the menu, so it won't work with the HDMI cable plugged in. You have to unplug it to look at, at the camera, or if you're in front of the monitor, you can leave it in and then do the settings there. So, anyhow, this is another view. So this will be the part two. And I got my 4K monitor back. All right. And there's the 4K monitor. So, now, if that was a cable problem, you want to try the bad one? Let's see what happens. So, I'll bring it up here. As you can see, I'm trying to show it. It's not reaching. There it goes. Oh, you got to put on webcam, Randy. Okay. See, the light is on. So I'm going to unhook it. Okay. You okay, buddy? All right. Good one. The bad one. I just wanted to see if it was the cable or this thing. So this thing would come on, say, for 10 seconds, blink. So I turn it on, and guess what? You're not going to believe this, folks. Uh, let me go to the R10. It wasn't the cam link. It was the cable. Isn't that something? So we know... This one's working because this, here, let, where am I? Ah, this one was working. I thought the bad one wasn't working, but it was the cable. So, actually, I'm ended up showing you how to fix it. Part two will be, if I can get the right cable, to work with this. So I'm going to end this recording right here, showing the cameras working. It's off. Turn it off. And I'm going to set it up here where I want it. And since I know this cam link is working, now I can plug this in, but then I have to find the cable to hook up to this camera. So, anyhow, fine detail. I look a lot better than I did in HDR, so it's not 1080p, it's 4K24. And uh, I don't have to put on the IPB light because it's not recording to the uh, SD card. And what I am also going to do is censor myself. So you saw kind of like a crop in the 1080p where I was bigger. Now I'm smaller and uh, I look a lot better now. So this is 4K instead of 1080p. So, um, I'm going to have to collage a lot of these videos, another long one, but uh, I think it's interesting, and I hope you enjoy this video. 
please give me a like, subscribe. Questions, just write in the comments below. You're always troubleshooting. And you're always ordering with other cables and stuff. So, um, anyhow. Looks like this cable was bad. But I thought that cable was bad. So I could have mixed it up. It worked for a while. But, uh, I'll hook, uh, this bad boy up in the next video. And, uh, Part two will be how to hook up a camera. So the first one was troubleshooting. Since I know the cam link is working, now we'll work with, uh, see how it uh, set up a camera for a two camera system. So uh, thank you for watching. Keep looking at the webcam, I'm sorry. Uh, Anyhow, uh, stay safe, keep smiling, until next time, goodbye. By the way, uh, this is... I added a little something to the end just to show you that uh, what it looked like on full screen. I had a live demo mode. I just saw the red light and remembered that it's in live demo mode. So this looks a lot better on a full screen than through my, uh, what I was showing you, the process behind the scenes on this laptop series of uh, how to use Ecamm. So this is Ecamm 4. The fourth version and everything's running good. Uh, the reason why I have a 4K24, I don't think there's a crop to it. And plus the fact that, uh, I mean, there is a 1.6 crop because uh, of APS-C, all right? But uh, it's a 16 millimeter, it looks good. Um, I think the Sigma F1.4 on the Sony looks a lot better, but still, for a good lens, it's great. Um, so anyhow, I'll end it right here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.